Krishna, Father, and giver of life, you have ordained this day before the beginning of time. And we have come here this afternoon to honor one of your children, Master Sergeant Roberto Martinez, for 25 years of faithful and dedicated service to country and corps. We are thankful that you have allowed us and those of the past to play a small part in your ultimate plan for our brother's professional and personal development as a father and as a Marine. Thank you for giving our brother in arms the tenacity and boldness to stay the course and to weather the storms of military life. Father, we acknowledge that your hand has been upon his life, and we know that none of his accomplishments would have been possible if it were not for your grace and the unwavering support and unfailing love of this family. Lord, thank you for allowing his daughter, Dominique, to witness what it means to start and finish well. As Master Sergeant Martinez transitions from the Marine Corps to civilian life, we ask that your presence will go before him, that you will give him the peace that can only come from you, the peace that surpasses all understanding. We ask that you would bless and keep him and give him a hope and a future. It is in the name of him who is the author and the finisher of our faith we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Master Sergeant Jim <coughs> House.
Department of the Navy. This is to certify that the President of the United States has awarded the Meritorious Service Medal to Master Sergeant Martinez for outstanding meritorious service while serving as the ADI Chief, Marine Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron 4, Marine Aircraft Group 14, Second Marine Aircraft Wing from April 2014 to July 2017. Master Sergeant Martinez ex executed his duties with expertise and rectitude, demonstrating superior performance as a leader in an extremely technical field. He expertly led the avionics division, maintaining six EA-6B crawler aircraft, accounting for over 10,000 aircraft flight hours, which enabled, which enabled timely achievement of the squadron's mission requirements. He had definitely drew an external agency into a partnership to develop a comprehensive avionics training program that resulted in an increase of the avionics division's qualification to over 150%. His advice, founded on his intimate knowledge of avionics maintenance practices, personal structure, and administrative requirements, was instrumental in key decisions made during the fiscal year 2015 Table of Organization Review Conference. His level-headed demeanor and endless demand for excellence enabled his division to pass several Second Marine Aircraft Wing Aviation Logistics Management Assist Team and Commander Naval Air Force's inspection with multiple programs receiving a Bravo Zulu from the inspection team. His superior performance of duty during, his, during this tour is a hallmark of a career devoted to accomplishing broad and diverse assignments, highlighting the culmination 25 years of honorable and dedicated Marine Corps service. Master Sergeant Martinez's exceptional professionalism, personal initiative, and total dedication to duty reflect a great credit upon himself and upheld the highest position of the Marine Corps in the United States Naval Service. 31st August, 31st day of August, 2017, signed by the Secretary of the Navy, Matthew G. Glady, Major General, 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, Commanding. United States Marine Corps, Master Sergeant Roberto Martinez, was transferred from this state from the U.S. Marine Corps to the Fleet Marine Corps Reserve after 25 years of honorable and faithful active service. 1 November 2017, Washington, D.C. Signed, Robert B. Nellis, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Hello, Ray! Ray! Certificate of Appreciation for the Service in the Armed Forces of the United States of America, Master Sergeant Roberto Martinez, United States Marine Corps. I extend to you my personal thanks and a sincere appreciation of a grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. You have helped maintain the security of the nation during a critical time in its history with a devotion to duty and a spirit of sacrifice in keeping with the proudest tradition of military service. Your commitment and dedication have been an inspiration for those who will follow you, who will follow in your footsteps, and for all Americans who join you today in saluting you for a job extremely well done. My best wishes to you for happiness and success in the future. Signed, the President of the United States, George W. Bush. Dear Master Martinez, the Marine Corps has been your occupation and family for many years past. And I am certain the memory, interest, and the future of the Corps will remain with you forever. Many desire to obtain your accomplished goals, but few can compare to you. You have clearly demonstrated the exceptional leadership, quality, and professional contribution we seek of our senior Marines. We are proud, as you must be, of your successful career. As a teacher to young Marines, a source of wise counsel, and as an example of the of those soldierly virtues we so admire, you have made a mark on the Corps that will remain long after you have left our happy ranks. There are many young Marines you have influenced who will carry on in the same fine position that has always characterized the United States Marine Corps. You have my best wishes for good health and continued success in the years ahead. Senator Fidelis, Robert B. Nelly, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Dear Master Art Martinez, on the occasion of your retirement, I would like to extend my congratulations and heartfelt thanks for your many years of dedicated service and selfless devotion to our country and Corps. 
You have made tremendous contributions and sacrifices throughout your Marine Corps career. As you prepare to enter this new chapter of your life, you can look back with immense pride and satisfaction on all you have accomplished. You have set an example of professionalism and lead a standard of excellence for all Marines who will carry on the legacy of our Corps. My wife Andrea joins me in wishing you continued success in the future. Semper Fidel, signed Ronald L. Green, 18th Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Jesus D. Rodriguez. Sergeant Major, Master Gunner Sergeant, fellow NGOs, ABCs, Marines, Sailors, friends, and families, welcome to the entire ceremony of Master Sergeant Bob Martinez. Back in July 6th of 1992, a young man from Houston, Texas, set foot on yellow footsteps at MCRD San Diego. Not really knowing what he was getting himself into at the time, and back then he said he, he wanted to be in the military and a uh, recruiter sold him one day, so that's why he went to join. Not knowing that he was getting ready to embark on a 25-year career that was going to take him to many, many places and do a lot of amazing things. <clears throat> Before I get into that, though, I forgot Please have a round of applause for the Marines of Mouse 14. Thank you. Thank you. So, following recruit training, he finds his way going over to FTT, Millington, Tennessee, and we'll be on the Navy on his way. His first duty station will be at over here at Mouse 14. And how fitting is that that he gets to end his career at the place where it gets started? I think that's awesome. Following Mile 14 as, as being a high level Marine in the 64 Bravo shop. Then, Corporal Martinez, who go on UDP deployment to the MAQ 4, and then again, subsequently, a second with the MAQ 4 over to uh, Aviano, Italy. Following that, he would be uh, going to recruiting at Jacksonville and Dayton, at Daytona Beach, Florida. Now, back then, that was prior to the whole 9 11 and whatnot. I personally never done it, but I know a few of you out here in the crowd have. Back then, recruiting them, it was difficult at that time. And he found himself not only doing it successfully, but he kicked butt at it. And he eventually took over as the, the RS uh, Staff and CIC over there in Jacksonville. Following that, he funded, he funded his way back over to Mile 14. And then once 9 11 kicked off, he'd go on a few deployments. He made his find his way on the TMDB or the USS Wright. And the reason why I wanted to mention that is because here in the near future, the Marines are here beside me. You could very well find yourself. If that, if that was a gag, then you'd find yourself on that as well. You'd also go on different, various different deployments with BMAQ-1 and also BMAQ-2. Following that, you'd get promoted to cover start and he'd go over to the AMTMU, which is Enlisted Aviation Maintenance Training Management Unit. That's where our, our paths crossed. And uh, we were both guns back then. And it was pretty awesome because it was it, it, it was apparent as soon as soon as we actually took the time and got together, it was apparent what type of marine that Mass Art Martinez was. He made everyone there. He made it that much better. He is a fierce competitor, which ended up bringing out the best in all of us. And I'm sure you know when you have that healthy breed of competition that you see day in and day out, it brings out the best in everybody. And uh, he did that. And it was just a whole group of staff and CEOs at the time. And uh, he made me a better Marine at that point. Following that, he'd find himself getting orders and transferred to Pax River up, up at the program office at PMA 234 as a configuration manager. Shortly after that, he'd find himself at BMG 2 as the aviation maintenance chief. And then after that, back at BMA 4 And then after that, back at Mouse 14. So, like I started off in the beginning, I think it's fitting that he started off his career at Mouse 14. They go into Q4, and he kind of made his way back there in reverse order. I think that's I think that's great. So, 25 years is a long time. How do you define that? What defines Marine's career? And I thought about this over the past couple of weeks. Number one, 
I think what defines a Marine's career is do they get the job done? All right, mission accomplishment, checking the block. That's what our team has got it done. So in every unit he went to, he got it done. Whether he was shorthanded, he didn't have the right people, it didn't matter. He would get it done. Second, leading Marines. How how well do you lead Marines? Can you inspire them? Can you motivate them? Do you make them perform at their fullest potential? Master Martinez did that, and he did it very well. And then lastly, how good are you at taking care of Marines? He did it to the fullest. He made sure his Marines were taken care of, not only professionally, but personally, in their, in their personal lives. He did an outstanding job at that. So in closing, I don't want to take up too much time, Rob. This, this should be your floor. 25 years in the Marine Corps. He did an outstanding job. Dominique sitting right next to you. Your dad did it right. He did, he did a tremendous job. This is only the end of this chapter in your life. You're getting ready to begin the next chapter in your life. And I know you're going to be successful wherever that takes you. So that's all I got for you, brother. It's your turn. Congratulations.
and A score together. Way, way back when in 92, I was some of the Marines. You guys weren't born. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, me and Major Gomez started start together, or Lance Corporal together. Um, you know, brother, I, I appreciate everything you've done. You've done, a, uh, you've done an outstanding job in your career. You've done outstanding, and, and I appreciate that you. Uh, I'm glad that you're able to come, and I appreciate you. You know, spending your time to come out here. Freddie uh, Kaza, uh, Major uh, Army, but he's still Major. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, was, uh, he was he was a Marine. Uh, and he's always going to be a Marine. Uh, me and Freddie H. Case, we, we go back. We were roommates together in, in, uh, in our, my first deployment. He was coming. Um, we did some, 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 some crazy stuff together as roommates. Uh, we, we, we fought a lot, uh, but that's what the Marines do. We fought a lot, but um, I would give my life to that man. Uh, and that's, that's, that's what you mean to me. Uh, and I'm glad that you're able to come here, too. Um, Rick Falk, Kenny Falk, uh, you know, I, I came back off recruiting duty and, and he was in the work center. He, he's not a 64 Bravo Marine, he's not an 84, but we welcome him anyway. Um, but I, I thank you for coming and, uh, I, and I appreciate what you've done for me in my career. Um, two important leaders in my life, uh, Edmo Barrow. Uh, Jeff Hunger, um, the epitome of leaders, the epitome of leaders. Um, those those two Marines. Um, they were always there for me. They taught me a lot. They taught me a lot, and uh, I can't think of it enough. I, I really can't. I owe my, my whole career um, to you two. Uh, best friends for life. Um, but thank you for um, your wisdom. Um, I told April I was going to say a lot of arms. I didn't mind. Uh, I thank you for showing up. I mean, I, I was surprised that, uh, that, you, that you were able to come because your, your kids are in school. Uh, that means a lot to me. Uh, Master Guns, thank you for, you know, the short time that, that I met you. Uh, Master uh, Sergeant uh, Jacobson, uh, he's the one that I would muster in the morning with. Uh, you know, make sure I was, I was, I was alive. Um, but uh, once again, I, I just want to leave to some of the other Marines, the young Marines, staff arms, gunnies. Um, Sergeant Man, uh, awesome Marine. Uh, leadership, I mean, you